Well, back to Ash Wednesday now. We've been talking a lot about ashes. You've probably seen them all over town, wherever you live. But have you ever wondered where those ashes come from? Jason Calvi gives us the dirt on Ash Wednesday. <laughs> this pile of ash has a somber future and a triumphant past. The story for this year's ashes begins Palm Sunday one year ago in Rome, D.C., and worldwide. But the palms themselves honor Jesus' entrance into Jerusalem nearly 2,000 years ago. During this past year, we've kept those blessed palms in our homes as a reminder of Christ's victory. But this week... Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Against you only have I sinned. Last year's palms go up in smoke here at St. Thomas Apostle Church in Washington. Monsignor Andrew Wadsworth and Father Richard Mullins are the founding members of a startup oratory and religious community here in Washington. We're offering to God something which has already been a sign of his grace and favor to us. And in its changed meaning, we ourselves hope to be changed by the penance, by the prayer. The National Shrine of the Immaculate Conception staff also make their own ashes. But not every parish burns their own palms for ashes. Here at Peter Moonley Church Goods in Virginia, you can buy things like the chasuble used by the priest during Mass. You can buy statues and you can buy ashes. This store serves parishes from Maryland down to South Carolina. The owner estimates about 70% of the parishes in the Arlington Diocese purchase ashes from stores like his. But no matter if they're bought or burned, ashes mark foreheads today. In the Old Testament, ashes are a sign both of mourning and of penance. So we are sad for our sins and we seek God's forgiveness. And the ashes remind the faithful, you are dust and to dust you will return. Jason Calvi, EWTN News Nightly.